Hey guys, Chris of Coalition Gaming here, and uh, well, we're a big fan of EVGA, and they run live streams every Friday at 3, so every Friday at 3, they give away something, and we try to enter. This time, I won something, and I won this EVGA Z10 mechanical keyboard. Brown switches on that, we're going to get into that more, stay with me. So this is the keyboard, uh, and as you notice, it's uh, it's red LED looking, and well, that's the only color. No RGB yet. I'm sure EVJ is gonna be working on that for another revision. This keyboard is a pretty recent product from them. Probably came out earlier this year. And uh, with that said, it's really nice that it comes with a little bit of extras though. So you have this magnetic palm rest, just just slides right on. And uh, I wouldn't maybe not necessarily call that extra, but it's a nice addition. But it does have the keycap puller and some extra keys <laughs> in case you mess up your keys or you just want to change them out or anything. The keycap puller is nice because you just slot it in there, pull the key out, boom. And speaking of the keys, those keys are browns. So they're, I don't know if they're Cherry MX browns or anything like that, but I just know that they are the brown keys. So they have the tactile feel while being a bit quieter than blues. Blues are the loud clicky ones and reds being the more mm, sort of mushy ones that are still mechanical switch. So it's a good in between. And in my opinion, browns are probably my favorite switch of them all. Another feature is it does have a built-in hub on it, so you can connect your USB devices to the side of it. In this case, I got the mouse connected to it, and you do have a screen on it. So I always thought back in the early Logitech days that a screen on the keyboard is kind of a nifty feature. I believe Logitech maybe has a better screen setup with more colors and all that stuff. This is more of a basic black and white type screen, but it can give you temp readouts at the very least, maybe some other stuff if developers support that. You also get volume control on it through sliders that are on there and also a LED dimmer and you can dim it to off and dim it all the way to up. But something that I noticed with this one at least, I'm not sure if it's a common thing with these boards or with these, uh, these keyboards, is that uh, this little silver piece that goes on the sliders for the dimmer and the volume control just fell right off both of them then so it wasn't like it's a one-off issue so i mean they go on just like that and you push on that and slide it around but uh one already fell off and i can't find it i'm already down one but it still works just fine without it and if anything it's less of an eyesore i guess you could say some people might not like the bling you can just pull it off and now it's just matches Something else the keyboard has is macro keys. So you have the E row of keys, or I guess it's more of a column over here on the left side. And I guess maybe if you play Fortnite and you don't want to fool around with having to spin around, well, I guess you still have to spin around, but you don't want to tap all the keys to get all your walls built and all your structures built, get them into a macro. I guess that's what a lot of people do. And uh, well, this keyboard can support that. Also, that's gonna come in handy in fighting games. Bunch of other stuff too, I'm sure. So the keys are easily removable. You just pull them off. You can even pull them off with your hand. It's not that big a deal. You can just place them right back on. Again, not a big deal. So overall, super solid keyboard, solid feel. I gotta say that's one of the things I like the most about this is this keyboard has a certain weight and feel to it that uh, you can only really get in higher end keyboards. Can't forget about the media controls though. Uh, if you're gonna be listening to music or doing anything like that, you have your stop back, forward, play button, pause, all right here on the side. And uh, unlike other keyboards where you have to use the function key in order to manipulate your any music or media that you're playing, these ones are standalone keys and I personally like that as a, as a feature. So my opinion on this keyboard is I really dig it. This keyboard is pretty awesome. I don't, I'm not actually all that experienced with mechanical keyboards, but from what I have experienced with these ones is this is probably amongst some of the best, I guess, in terms of just feel, key feel, just the usage of it. It's not too loud and uh, it feels great gaming. It feels great to type on. There really aren't any negatives to it. Maybe the price, but again, as previously mentioned, 
I won this keyboard. And uh, if you guys are trying to get something like this and you don't have enough money to cough up for a EVGA keyboard or another high-end mechanical, make sure you watch the EVGA streams. They give these away regularly. They're every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific on Team EVGA YouTube channel, on Team EVGA on Twitch, and also Mixer. So lots of chances come up to win these. And uh, But with that said, I really love it. Would I have gone out and bought one myself? Maybe. Maybe. But it's really nice that I get to feel it, check it out, and do all this the way that I have. And I hope you guys like the keyboard as well. If you guys have one of these, what are your thoughts on them? Do you like this? It, it, they offer different switches on them, actually. It's not just brown. So if you have one of these and it has one of the different switches, how do you like that? Why did you pick the one that you picked? And uh, Or what kind of keyboard do you have? What kind of switches? Let's talk about that. Leave a comment down below, and we'll talk more mechanical keyboard stuff. So if you guys want to check out anything that was talked about in this video, links will be in the description below. That's the keyboard, that's the social media pages, that's the YouTube, all that stuff. Sign up, check out the live stream, all that. And uh, click that like button, click that, click that subscribe button. We always got more coming and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.